So you've been searching how ketoconazole shampoo works or maybe where to buy it. But before you hit checkout, let's talk about what ketoconazole actually is and why it's becoming such a go-to for people dealing with hair loss, inflammation, or scalp issues like seborrheic dermatitis. In this video, I'll break down how it works, what the science says, and why HIMSS telehealth platform took it beyond a simple ketoconazole shampoo. Combining ketoconazole with other proven ingredients in a potent, doctor-prescribed hairspray made just for men. Let's clear the scalp and regrow some confidence. If you're looking for a solution that goes beyond basic ketoconazole shampoo, Hims has made it easier than ever. Their 4-in-1 prescription hair loss spray combines ketoconazole with the most proven ingredients out there, and it's delivered straight to your door. Check the link in the description to get started with a free online consultation. Now, let's talk about how fungal infections might be quietly sabotaging your scalp. When we hear hair loss, most of us immediately think of male pattern hair loss, also called androgenetic alopecia. It's the most common type of hair loss, and yes, genetics play a big role. But hair loss isn't always inherited. Sometimes it starts with something as simple and sneaky as a fungal infection. Two of the most common culprits are tinea capitis and seborrheic dermatitis. Tinea capitis is a contagious fungal infection, more common than you think, and it affects the scalp and hair shafts. It often shows up as scaly, ring-shaped patches, and it can cause hair to break off right at the surface, leaving behind bald spots. Then there's seborrheic dermatitis, a chronic condition where the scalp becomes oily, irritated, and flaky. It's often mistaken for simple dandruff, but in some cases, it goes deeper, inflaming the scalp and weakening the hair follicles over time. Left untreated, these infections can lead to localized or diffuse shedding, especially around inflamed or irritated areas. That's why someone with no family history of baldness might still experience unexpected thinning. Infections like these don't follow the typical patterns of androgenetic alopecia, which makes them harder to spot. You might just notice an itchy patch, uh, some redness, or a spot that feels tender, long before visible hair loss even begins. So the good news is, these kinds of hair loss are often reversible, but only if you treat the underlying issue early. That's where proper hair loss treatment starts with, understanding the cause, not just the symptoms. And now let's talk about what HIMS actually offers. Their standout product is a 4-in-1 topical hair loss spray, and it's built for convenience and results. Inside, you've got four active ingredients, minoxidil to enhance blood flow and reactivate follicles, finasteride to block DHT, biotin to support healthy strands, and of course, ketoconazole to tackle inflammation and scalp fungus, the hidden triggers behind shedding. What makes this spray different is that it's doctor prescribed, but yet it's easy to access. You just complete a quick online consultation, and if approved, HIM ships it right to your door. No in-person appointments and no pharmacy lines. And because it's a leave-in once daily spray, it fits really nice into your routine. No messy shampoo sessions or multiple bottles to manage. If you're curious whether it's right for you, I've added a link in the video description down below that'll take you straight to the HIMSS telehealth page, where you can explore the spray, start a free consultation, and see if it's a good fit for you. So how exactly does ketoconazole work, and why is it showing up in hair loss treatments? First off, it's a part of a group of antifungal drugs that fight fungal overgrowth on the skin and scalp. In simple terms, ketoconazole stops the fungus from forming its protective wall, which basically halts its ability to grow or spread. That's why it's been a go-to for years in treating conditions like dandruff, tinea capitis, and seborrheic dermatitis. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting. Ketoconazole doesn't just fight fungus, it also has anti-inflammatory effects. That means it can calm an irritated scalp and reduce the kind of chronic inflammation that leads to weakening hair follicles and shedding. But that's not all. Some studies suggest ketoconazole may have anti-androgenic properties, meaning it could lower levels of DHT, a hormone tied to male pattern baldness. While ketoconazole isn't FDA approved for hair loss specifically, doctors are allowed to use medications off-label, especially when the safety profile is well-established. 
The FDA actually supports this kind of flexible prescribing as long as it's based on research and clinical judgment. Now, is there actual science behind ketoconazole for hair loss? While it's not FDA approved for this purpose, clinical studies have shown promising results, especially when ketoconazole is used in 2% strength. Researchers found that it may improve hair density, reduce inflammation, and even support regrowth, especially when used alongside other treatments like minoxidil or finasteride. So while it's still considered off-label for hair regrowth, it's not uncharted territory, and many doctors see it as a supportive, low-risk addition to a comprehensive treatment plan. So, if you're dealing with thinning hair and want a solution that targets it from multiple angles, check out the HIMSS Telehealth platform. Their licensed medical practitioner might just prescribe you HIMSS 4 in 1 hair loss spray. It combines ketoconazole with minoxidil, finasteride, and biotin, all in a single doctor prescribed formula that you can apply once a day. Just hit the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen to start your online consultation. No waiting rooms, just fast, discreet access to clinically backed treatments made for real results. So if you're thinking about trying ketoconazole, what are your options? Most people start with 1% ketoconazole shampoo or a ketoconazole soap, which you can get over the counter. It's found in various products and seems to work quite well for mild dandruff or itchiness. Now, for more stubborn cases like seborrheic dermatitis or fungal scalp infections, doctors may prescribe a 2% version. That higher strength has stronger antifungal properties and is often used two to three times a week for a few weeks at a time. Now, what's the key to using it effectively? Don't just lather and rinse. You want to massage the shampoo into your scalp and leave it in for at least three to five minutes before rinsing. That gives the active ingredient time to actually work and do its thing. So then, what makes HIMS different? You're not just getting a shampoo that rinses away. This is a leave-in, once-daily spray that combines four clinically tested ingredients, finasteride to block DHT, minoxidil to boost regrowth, biotin to strengthen the hair, and ketoconazole to fight inflammation and scalp issues. It's like having a full hair loss routine in one bottle. No need to juggle multiple products or prescriptions, just spray and you're covered. For guys dealing with thinning hair, this kind of all-in-one solution might be a game changer. And as always, it's a smart move to check with a healthcare provider first, especially if you have sensitive skin, allergies, or you're using other treatments. So here's the big picture. Not all hair loss is genetic. Scalp infections play a major role role, and ketoconazole as a part of your treatment plan might just help stop the shedding before it gets worse. Don't wait before it's too late and subscribe to your very first HIMSS treatment plan. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.